Hi everyone, I'm Emily Sudlow. And I'm Alex Collins. Welcome to Lakers Shenanigans. Today we are reporting live to bring you the latest and greatest. Yes, that's right. Today we have some groundbreaking features to bring to you. Indeed. Now it's time for an inside look at the speech team's amazing progress. These students thrive off of performing in front of crowds, as other students fear public speaking more than death. Let's take a peek. I am in storytelling. I am in the category of extemporaneous speaking. I am the head coach of the Prior Lake speech team, and the specific categories I'm responsible for are creative expression, dramatic duo, humorous interpretation, and storytelling. There are many newcomers in speech this year who have been practicing very hard and enjoying their time this season on the team. This has been going pretty good. Um, I know our varsity team is doing really well, and the novice team has been kicking butt. Too. This year we have more newcomers on the team than I've had in many years. Almost half of our team uh, is competing for the first year ever, and a lot of those first year competitors are freshmen. Just because we have a lot of really, really new people on our team and a lot of a lot of numbers of new people, but I think that they're really, really good. My advice for a newcomer would be just be confident in what you're doing because that's really what separates an amateur from a professional. Just, I guess, try out and do your best and you might not make it your first year, but it's always fun to try again. Make sure to practice because if you don't, you're probably not going to do very well at the meet. My favorite part is the people and getting to know them. My favorite part of speech is just being able to get to do, depending on the category, you have awesome speeches, awesome coaches. Probably going up against those incredibly experienced and talented seniors who've been at this for four, sometimes even five years, and just trying not to let that intimidate you and impact your own performance. Wow, the speechers have really speeched up the game. If only their coach wasn't such a big Goomba. Speaking of Goombas, I once saw them roaming around the fields of Europe. Speaking of Europe, I hear the band squad is traveling out there. Let's see what adventures lie ahead for them. This year, the high school band is taking a trip to Europe over spring break. They'll be visiting and performing in several different countries. Well, we're landing in Germany, we're landing in Munich, and then we're gonna take a train to Vienna, which is in Austria. And then we are going to Prague, which is in the Czech Republic. Flight is only nine hours, but with all the time change, it's going to be 14 hours going there, and then less than that coming home. The band students will be playing various types of music. We have a variety of music that we're going to play there. We have some popular songs from the U.S., and we have the national anthems of the countries that we're going to, and we have a few classical pieces that we're going to play. Performing a lot of our halftime show from this fall and pregame, and then we're also performing a lot of new pieces that are more like towards the, that culture. We also had some uh, extra rehearsals. We had five extra rehearsals, and I've been encouraging people to rehearse, to practice on their own every day. Other than playing music, the students are looking forward to taking in new culture. We're going to some really, really cool places, like a bunch of castles and stuff, So, and I'm just really excited to walk around the cities. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, Mo Mo Mozart's home. Uh, we'll be stopping in a concentration camp um, to kind of balance the whole history of, of what all has happened in this region as well. Um, there's just a whole bunch of architecture over there that's going to be really interesting, like the big uh, cathedrals and the tombs of like Roman emperors. Enjoy the trip, band students, and make Prairie Lake proud. Jizo Bizo, they sound like an international orchestra. Yes, Alley Cat, they are. Musically talented is something I have never became. Ho hum. The last story we are allowed to show you regards an eye and a pad, exposing the technological side of PL. iPads are taking Prairie Lake High School by storm. Although this is still a new technology, students and staff are embracing their growing popularity. We're just getting to use them, we're getting to know them, so every day something happens that we learn more about them, but they are out all the time. We have 10 iPad cards with 30 iPads, and they are checked out all the time. Some days we have average of four to five that go out, and then on Fridays and things like that, they're all gone. PL's goal is to apply this technology by bringing iPads into the hands of all future students. Well, I think with all the technological changes going on in society that that's the way that we're heading. 
Um, I think that giving students iPads, um, I think will uh, allow them to, uh, I think, keep pace. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for uh, students and teachers to utilize technology on a daily basis um, and to have those resources available for them. Although iPads are beneficial, there is still some opposition amongst the students. I do not think Prior Lake should provide iPads to future students. We already have computer labs and students already have their phones in class, so I think iPads would just be even more of a distraction than all the technology we already have. I think it's a good idea. Well, like all the most of the computer labs are pretty full sometimes, and then we have iPads. You can like give us access to computers, and then we don't really need as much computers in the school. We have iPads instead. I definitely think the iPads will benefit our school district in the long run. Um, it kind of keeps us on sort of the cutting edge of technology um, and provides students uh, with learning opportunities that you couldn't get in sort of traditional classrooms without that technology. Principal Lund supports the advancement of technology being added into our school. Over the last 30 years since I started in education, the way it's changed, um, it just it brings the world at your f fingertips and it makes us a global community. You know, instead of just stuck in Little Minnesota or stuck on Little Prior Lake, we have access to the world at our fingertips. And Prior Lake's cutting edge technology will be keeping our school on top of its game. All that screen time sure kills a lot of brain cells. Good thing we'll be gone next year. Oh yeah, and watch out for the season of spring. It's basically upon us. Only one quarter left for us seniors. Our high school career is 94% complete. Can't wait to start it all over when we enter college. Yay us. This has been Emily Sudlow and Alex Collins reporting to you, Prior Lake. You're, You're welcome. welcome.